What we've talked about so far is a stable strategy. An evolutionary stable strategy is a strategy that when adopted is a strategy that when adopted by the whole population is resistant to another strategy entering the population that is initially rare. So an evolutionary stable strategy is one uh, by definition that is stable. So the derivative is zero of the replicator dynamics equation, but you add in a little bit of another strategy, the evolutionary stable strategy will resist this new entrant. So as an example of that, let's consider uh, once again the, the Hulk dove game, which is given by, by this matrix here. And with a little bit of work that we actually did in a, in a, in a video uh, uh, to start off this, this chapter, you can write down that the replicator dynamics equation for this is given by um, x1 times x1 minus 1 times 2x1 minus 1. And dx2 dt is equal to minus x1 times x1 minus 1 times 2x1 minus 1. You'll note there that I've only got x1, um, and that's because what I did is I've taken the work to write down the replicator dynamics equation, and I've used the substitution that x2 is equal to 1 minus x1, okay, um, which allows us to write down these equations. What's nice is that we got a, a model with a, a single uh, variable here. Um, for both of these two things, uh, to be uh, zero, we we essentially need uh, three things uh, to happen. So this is the stable strategy. And the stable strategy, there's essentially going to be three of them that either x is equal to one, zero. So in other words, x1 is equal to zero or x, oops, I wanted to effortlessly change color, or x is equal to uh, 0, 1. In other words, this part is 0, or x is equal to a half, a half, which gives us that this part would be equal to 0. And those three populations are all stable. So if the population starts off in one of those states, the population will not change. Now, what gets interesting is that not all of them are evolutionary stable. So in fact, we, in the very first video on the replicated dynamics equation, we looked at this and we looked at what happened if we just added a little bit of an aggressive behavior and we saw that the population changed. But what's interesting is if we start near to a half a half, this is what happens. So we're starting near to a half a half. And by that, I mean we are at a half a half and we add a little bit either way. And what happens here is that the population snaps back. So that means that if you have a population where um, you have a mix, a 50-50 mix of aggressive and sharing individuals, uh, according to the whole Dove game, that if you added another individual which acted differently, that you would go back to this population. And so these kind of ideas can be used to, for example, uh, uh, study cancer, uh, because in cancer, we're interested in when and what sort of populations are resistant to uh, mutations.